ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله تساءلون به ولا ارحم ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الحدي حدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد we are upon the politics season again politics time again voting time again campaigning time again which party should the muslim support some of the muslims supporting the unc some muslims supporting pnm some muslims making their own political party and taking part in these western democratic politics whether it is democracy the democratics or the independents the liberals the, the republicans the far right the left wing the right wing or or whatever else whatever is similar to them they are all based upon batil falsehood they all belong to the party of shaitan all mentions shaitan has overpowered them so he has made them forget the remembrance of allah they are the party of shaitan verily it is the party of shaitan that will be the losers the shaitan has overpowered them meaning he has made them to forget the remembrance of allah shaitan has taken over their hearts to the point that he has made them to forget allah they are the party of shaitan this here refers to those who are controlled by the devil and as a result forgot the remembrance of allah verily it is the party of shaitan that will be the losers all these political parties they take you away from the remembrance of allah all they do is call to their man made desires their man made laws they do not call you to worship allah alone they do not call you to the ways of the prophets and the messengers they call you to man made laws man made desires they are the party of shaitan there are certain issues concerning politics that muslims should take into consideration and be mindful of and just to highlight a few firstly 
all these different groups, these different parties, these different gangs, they have no part in Islam. All of them have nothing to do with Islam. Nothing from these political agendas are legislated by Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Secondly, all these different groups, these different parties, these different gangs, they support and they promote man-made laws. When they are ready, they make illegal drugs. They make weed illegal, and when they are ready to please the people to make man-made laws, they decriminalize and they legalize weed to please the people not pleasing Allah. When they are ready, homosexuality, sodomy, buggery, anal sexual intercourse, it is a criminal act. And when they are ready to please the people with their man-made laws, they legalize homosexuality. They legalize sodomy and buggery and anal sexual intercourse. Furthermore, another important point which the scholars have mentioned is that this democracy, this voting, is from falsehood. It makes everyone equal. And this is not the case. For verily, it makes the scholar equal to the ignorant one. And Allah mentions that he raised in degrees those who have knowledge. And he also mentioned that those who have knowledge are not similar to those who do not know. So this vote that makes the scholar equal to the ignorant one. It makes the righteous equal to the sinful one. It makes those who have affluence and authority more so like the, the community leader, and I'm not talking about the, the criminal community leaders that we have in this country, but those who may be leaders of a tribe, those who may have some status and authority above the people, it makes them equal to the criminal. The evil corrupted, menacing criminal gang leaders that we have in this country, they are no different from the politicians. This is the reality. When you look at the six gang, or the seven gang, or the nine boss, the nine gang, and these political parties all of them are trying to fulfill their evil, corrupted agendas, their man-made laws. And again, as I mentioned before, the only difference between these corrupted community leaders and these political leaders is not that one wears a shirt and a tie and the other one wears his pants below his bottom. The only difference between them is that one has a registered gang. One has a registered party and the other one is unregistered. This is the only difference between them. When you look at the community leaders, all they want to do is establish their evil agendas. The politicians, same thing. All they want to do is fulfill their desires and bring about man-made laws. The politicians, they have the police service to protect them, another corrupted entity. 
Likewise, these community leaders, these evil, corrupted medicine community leaders, these gangs, what they have, they have their, 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 as we call it, their henchmen with the AR-15s and the AKs and the handguns to go and terrorize people just like the police service. The police service is supposed to protect and serve with pride. The police service is supposed to bring about justice amongst the people. But what do they do? They carry out the work of these political leaders. If a particular polit political leader wants to get rid of you, make a call, police service, get the job done. Nothing different from the gangs, the community leaders that we have in this country. All of them follow their desires based upon man-made laws. All of them belong to the party of Shaitan. So, Mamabad, the reality is that these politicians, and remember again, we are in the political season because we are facing the local, the local elections. So you find they come out, they hand out some jerseys, red, yellow, blue, green. They give out some flyers, they give out some promises, they give out some, some small favors, they give out some more promises, but the reality is that they are all liars because why? They belong to the party of Shaitan. And they give out false promises, and this leads to a lot of corruption in the land. So they promise this one here will give you a contract, and promise this one will give you a contract, and they promise this community leader on that side we will give you a contract, and the other community leader on the other side we will give you a contract, and the other community leader down on that zone we will give you a contract. But then now, when some of them come into power, these political evil ones, you find that only one or two men get a contract. So this one get a contract, and then the other one on the other side. So how he get a contract, me get a contract, killing start. Bullets start to share. Why? Because they are from the party of Shaitan. They only cause mischief and corruption in the land. This is the reality of these politicians. No different from the evil medicine community leaders that we have. Those who cause mischief in the land. These politicians again, they come around and they give out false promises, false hope. Only lies they come with. And they come and they they pave the road. No, they pave in the road half a long time. They used to pave the road better. Remember, this land that we live in has the largest natural pitch lake in the world. In the world. We do not understand the gravity of that. We have the largest natural asphalt lake in the world. All our roads should be paved smoothly, perfectly. But what happens again, corruption time again, they link up with Junior Sami and the other paving companies and they give out multi-million dollar contracts. Now we're headed into the billions. And the poor people cannot get anything. Why? Because we are, they, they are just corrupted and evil and just want to dig out the eyes of the people in the country. Bleeding the country. 
And some of us in the community like fools coming up to support these people. Some of us are so ignorant and stupid, we find ourselves in a political party under some tent in the late hours of the night and is, is alcohol, is weed, is all kind of foolish talk, is all kind of lies and promises and fitna going on take place. We could support that. But when it comes to performing the Juma, performing the five times Salah, you find that majority of the Muslims we can't do that. You even find some sisters, they cannot come out for the sisters' classes, but you see them wearing a hijab in these political tents. Verily, they are from the party of Shaitan. Be mindful and take heed to the reminders. La ilaha illallahu wa dahu la shirika lahu lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamd yuhni wa yumitu wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir Bismillah wa alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala these politicians, they are known liars and tricksters. They only come around for elections, giving out false promises, false hope, bringing about their lies. And then after the elections, when certain contracts are given out, when only certain people that they come around and they say, well, we give it, we give it out. Well, once I come into power, once you come out and you vote for me and you elect me, and I come into power, I could do this, I could do that, and you go get a little cooperation work, you go get wasa, go link you up with a nice little work in your office, you go get this and you go get that. And then when they come into power, there's all sort of lies coming about again. They have no money in the treasury. We waiting for the for the um, for the change of the government. Yes, we win the elections, but the people who are in office is the people who, are, who was there before from the other party, and we can't do anything right now. Our hands are tied. There's only lies. And then you see certain people getting through with certain things and bringing about animosity in the community, causing fitna in the community. This is all they do. Do not think that any one of them are sincere to you. Some people are being fooled by one called Philip Alexander. And not just to highlight him alone, because he, even Gary Griffith, whether it's Rowley, whether it's Auntie Kamala, whether it's Manning, Pandey, Eric Williams, all of them are from the party of Shaitan. None of them support Islam. But you find some people gravitating towards some speech. And verily some speech is like magic. Because they tell you and they move you with what you want to hear. We'll do this and we'll do that and we'll fix this and that in the community and we'll do this and that and all sorts of promises. Philip, Alex Philip El Edward Alexander, no different. Gary Griffin, no different. They come and they tell you what, they, what you want to hear. They follow you up with lies. And then after the elections, when they come into power, Fitna takes place because at the end of the day, they have to fulfill their agenda first. And they have to support their, their money spenders, those who spent behind them. You never spent behind them, you went and vote, which you think is important, really and truly it is not important because we have voter pardon. We have corruption with the voting. Where when they are counting, 
Somebody might vote for PNM, they will count it as UNC. Somebody, somebody vote for PEP, they count it as UNC. You have whereby they're taking votes and they're burning it. This is the reality. They are just full of corruption and lies. And after the elections, Bacchanal takes place. Allah mentions, and whoever takes Allah and his messenger and those who have believed as protectors, then they are the party of Allah. And the party of Allah will be victorious. Here it is for us to hold on to our deen, to hold on to Islam, to hold on to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa for us to implement our deen as Muslims. And Allah mentions they are the party of Allah. They are the group of Allah, the party of Allah is victorious, meaning that we will be given victory in this life and the next. Allah will alleviate all our problems and stress so long as we hold on to the deen of Allah. But when we hold on to these politicians and their false promises and these different parties and groups and gangs, you will be from the party of shaitan. You will be from the losers. Allah also mentions, you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, will not find any people who believe in Allah on the last day, making friendship with those who oppose Allah and his messenger even though they were their fathers or their sons or their brothers or their kindred. For such he has written faith in their hearts and strengthened them with the ruh from himself and he will admit them to gardens under which rivers flow to dwell therein. Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with him. They are the party of Allah. Verily, it is the party of Allah that will be successful. Allah mentions here that you will never find those who believe in Allah in the last day. Why? Because they believe in Allah and they believe in the reward from Allah on the last day, the day of judgment. And they believe in the punishment of Allah on the day of judgment. You will never find those who believe in Allah on the last day having friendship with those who oppose Allah and his messenger. PNM, UNC, PEP. All these different political parties, they oppose Allah and his messenger. You will never find the believers taking them as friends, even if they are their fathers, or their sons, or their cousins, or their kindred. You will never find the believers supporting the party of shaitan. And Allah mentions they have firm belief in their hearts. Verily, they are the party of Allah. And the party of Allah is successful in this life and the next. Stop rallying around these different political groups, these different political parties, these different political gangs. And these political parties, because again they are the party of shaitan. Hold on to your religion, Islam, and support the deen of Allah. And be from amongst the party of Allah, because verily the party of Allah are those who will be granted success 
and victory in this life and the next. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina adhabi na. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi.